Adam Thomas, we're back. Oh my god. Oh, Rhino's Rampage. That's right. Rhino's on a rampage. Oh my god. The end. Me. Spidey. Oh no. Oh, that's Black not Spidey, man. It's Gross Face! I mean, Black Cat. <laughs> Look at her horrible juxtaposed. Spidey, where the fuck have you been? <laughs> there he comes. There's Rhino. Right up the. Right up the bum. Rhino, <laughs> I'm dead! My teeth are gritted, but I can still comprehend and articulate my words. <laughs> <laughs> he's a dumb little face. He's a, he's a dumb boy. He looks like a totem pole face. Oh, boy, Spidey fans. Black Cat is out. Oh my god. Looking to take Spidey down as well. You don't realise how excited I was when Stanley's like, oh, Well, I can do it, Stanley! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <it's laughs> Leave it to me, Stanley! Yeah, I bet, Look, man. he's charging up. Oh shit, here he comes. Nice, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Already I understand the game. Account. Yes, exactly. Typical hey, boss, boss battles. But... How they did the job. Oh, um, that, that, that clipped a little that bit. That was a bit bullshit, but that's fine. I mean, he blew up a bit. Um, <laughs> he turns around, he's like, oh, there you are. <laughs> Might want to get out of there, man. Get the heck out of Dodge. Here we go. One of them, at least. Oh, you're going straight. He should have seen that. <laughs> I think if I punch him, it hurts me. Don't Doesn't punch him. Yeah. I just wanted to check. I'll be fine. I can do <laughs> oh, it. Oh, look at that little nose breathing. I thought you were going to say he had a nose breed. And you were just pronouncing it wrong. What? <laughs> I got a nose breed, oh, Thomas. Nose. Oh no, I got a nose breed. <laughs> Careful, we might Making, get dead. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah. yeah. yeah that's YouTube, like YouTube won't Tom monetize this demonetized video. He's just like <laughs> pacing. It's like, oh, when I get there, he's going to run right into it. How can you not see it right in front of you, <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Rhino? Right there. Yeah, some of these, you're going to realize, fundamentally, it's not the most... Stellar game, but I was a kid no, knowing man. that I could do this. Was I don't wicked. think it's that bad. Like it's a it's a generation thing. Yeah, so. uh, definitely. This is a sign of the times, but it did it so well. Oh yeah, dude. I'll just hang here. You going for this one? Teasing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Hey, come on, go. Hey, come on, come on, come on! Oh, I tempted fate. <laughs> you, you fool! It's fine. His ass is in a bin. It's like, are you just gonna beat him up now? <laughs> I mean, hey! That also works, <laughs> so that's cool. Oh no, Spidey fans! It's oh, you did it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how he ended up through the wall either. Cool. Reasons. It doesn't fit with the story. Octavius, what's he doing here? Is he working with the police? <laughs> oh, he was magic. the bad guy. He had a big plan, Tom. Why is he being what? Oh. He's taking all the credit for it, is he? Yeah. He changed bloody quick. He don't mess around, man. We needed to uh, Cat. Cat perform some. Me. Really oh my god! Oh. <laughs> what? And not really paramedics. <laughs> They're not really paramed. Hmm. I wonder what <laughs> she was talking about just then. <laughs> oh well. Anyway, guess it's a jump at the ambulance. Bye. <laughs> She's on the hospital <laughs> anyway. She'll be fine. We needed to hospitalise her. Look at her face. <laughs> Yeah, oh, she's that had a skin graft gone wrong. Oh, uh, we're back. Oh, that's a cool cover. That's dude. fucking wicked. That's such a cool issue. I would have that. As I a would buy the man. shit out of that. Looks like you're in a lot of trouble. Oh, what's going on now? Synergy, Tom. I have a story for you instead. Oh my god, flame. The human torch. Flame man. <laughs> flame man. <laughs> flame ah, on. you seem versed in Marvel. I was about to say flame on, but. <laughs> it's Johnny Storm, the human torch. What about in. You, you saw the new Fantastic He's Four. looking for Mary Jane. I ha No, I haven't seen the new one. Oh, it's awful, isn't it's it? It's gold. <laughs> Look at him go. Oh, hey, Spidey. Oh, I don't want to race. Where's my girlfriend? Oh, it's his wife in this. He's married to Mary Jane at this point. Cool. <laughs> that was a good joke. I love it when I get the drop on him. I hate it when he gets a drop on me. <laughs> I don't know, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I'd I'm love gonna... it if Carnage, the red version of Venom, is like, I don't know, Tommy. It's <laughs> 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 like, wait, what? <laughs> Venom Vince. <though. laughs> what happened there? What the fuck? <laughs> what was that? I'm man? dead. What did you do? I'm not going to lie, I did not see that coming. <laughs> Just KO'd on the corner. Yeah, this what I was going like to say really about, um, like, talking about, like, comic covers. When I was in Cardiff um, a while back... That's Wales this... for the uninitiated. <laughs> yeah. There was this um, like art gallery. Um, oh, cool. And it was, it had some really, really cool stuff. There was like, some really cool Sonic um, paintings. Oh, sweet. So w w did it have game, like a game 
Oh well, no, there was like exhibition. yeah, there was lots of like um, there's this whole series that some artists have done about like DC comic heroes, which oh, was cool. nice. But there was this, there was these two massive, well, I'm talking huge, like probably about eight foot tall canvases. Like can buy, can buy, <laughs> um, printed and signed by Stan Lee. No of, way. Um, like Wolverine cover and one was a um, what was the other one? It might have been a Fantastic Four cover, and it was it was so oh cool. God. But it was like it was for charity, I think. Like yeah, must be, must be when you got his John Hancock on it. Yeah, but like it was um, oh, it was it was about twelve grand. Oh my buy. god, yeah. I, I just love that shit in my house. Oh my god. Like, if it was I could beautiful. Have anything so even sneezed on by Stan Lee would be like <laughs> worthwhile in my house. Hey, can you not be a dick, what's, Venom? What's the deal here? What's I've just got to chase him, is the general idea. Right, you'll like this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Whoa, what a good Listen there. to this. Get out of my way, nerd. <laughs> Watch that first step. It's a doozy. <laughs> What the hell is this? Yeah, look out, lady. Oh my goodness. It's like re redone. Oh, sorry, lady. Didn't see a thing. <laughs> oh my goodness, man. And we're back in the game. Oh, to, 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 ow. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's really silly. What is this, like, Wand of Gamelon? <laughs> Levels of audio. Oh no, I'm losing him. Mate, you better hurry up. I know, right? Yeah, I lost him. Damn it. Venom. Sorry, I was completely immersed oh, in that. Oh my goodness! Toe, 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 toe. <laughs> That's really funny, man. Oh god. Yeah, I just, I want to, I want to just, I'll just draw one myself. I oh no, I have to do this round. again. I should pay attention. Sorry, but yeah. Have you, did you ever try and draw like, draw like comic book characters as a kid? Because obviously yeah, you've got an eye for yeah, like did, drawing yeah, and stuff. I... Did you get, did it help you like fundamentally? Oh my god, definitely. Like, um. That's all I would do. I would find like images that I liked and just like save them, like cut them out of magazines and stuff of characters like Spider Man, no like especially like the Beano comics I grew up. Oh, with. I drew Beano characters as well. And what made, are you doing, ma- dude? <laughs> I, I drew Beano characters and made them up. Like I used to make ones. It, oh yeah, man. Because the style was pretty easy. It was like pretty easy to nail the Beano. Like even I, as a kid, could draw them. And uh, yeah, I used to do that. I was intimidated by drawing. Um, I used to draw Spider-Man, but it was nowhere near as muscly or anything like that. <laughs> no. Nah. Boom! Oh, cool. Spidey armor. I love this because I love different oh outfits. Oh my god, you look really cool. I know, right? Spider-Man should always look like that. Yeah. It's great. Do you know what, Mike? What's your favorite iteration of Spider-Man other than the main one? Because he has many different iterations, I'm like sure Miles I'm... Morales, the uh, first Black Spider-Man. Ah. Oh. Really cool. Really cool um, outfit. What about Spider Here's Miles Morales Spider Man. Pew, 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 pew. How many pictures have I put up there now? Uh, <laughs> quite a few. Um, but my favourite personally is Spider Man 2099. It's a doozy. It's, a doozy. <laughs> it's like repeating like the audio clips as well. <laughs> oh my goodness! Ow. There it is. <laughs> there, she, there she is, wrong cue. Oh, sorry, lady. Didn't see a thing. Didn't see a thing. <laughs> Alright, I won't fuck this up this time. So fill me in on a bit of... Whoa, um, whoa, where are you going? Dude, what... what? Spider-Man by default did that. How weird. Oh, there he is. Yeah, can't lose him this time. Can't lose him this time. So fill me in on a bit of Spider-Man lore. Venom, is he a bad dude? So, yes. Uh, Initially, yes. He, in the comics, he's Eddie Brock, who's a rival photographer to to the Daily Bugle next to Peter Parker. And And he's... He's got a bit of a bad break a lot. It's, things don't seem to go his way, and that doesn't okay. help. And because of his like emotional problems, Eddie Brock, it attracts uh, the symbiote, which Spider-Man, Peter Parker, gets rid of because it's attached to him, and you need to have the strength to stop the symbiote. The symbiote is not a good thing. Black Spider-Man is not a good thing. Right, yeah. Fight, follow me. And so- it attaches the Venom at a bell tower after when Peter's trying to get rid of it and <laughs> Eddie Brock's trying to take pictures of Spider-Man I think right. and uh, in the process gets hit by the symbiote and becomes Venom ah. Come out and play. so oh my god that is a Warriors play. reference by the way have you ever seen the Warriors no Warriors he's clinking these bottles these beer bottles and he's going come out to play <laughs> it's like insane. Oh my god, sorry dude, you'd look really cool. I know, right? He's disappeared on me. Alright, it's gonna get really weird the story now, by the way. 
we you will notice that we're just like near like a like a sewer. Well, okay, man, yeah. That's all I'll tell you. The rest you won't. There's a lot of weird shit that goes. Is on. this gonna be Ratatouille? Yes. <laughs> Tom, you've given it away. This is the actually the prequel to Ratatouille. <laughs> Where are you? You're standing right there. <laughs> That's so PlayStation One repeating the same loops literally one after the other. <laughs> yeah, but they kind of had to. Like, yeah, what could you space do? Space was was a um. Oh my god. Ooey. I've been turned all ooey gooey. You're gonna ruin my nice sweet so armor, bro. So what is um, Venom's deal then? What's like his thing? He just wants to kill me, basically. But then he obviously, obviously he turned. They have to. How do we use Eddie Brock still? And yeah. uh, in obviously in Spider-Man Three, they kill him. But the symbiote. Spoilers. He controls the symbiote. It's weird. He's good and bad. It's really weird. Okay. But I guess in this one, he's a bit of both. Because he was Eddie Brock, just trying to make a living, really. So I guess they just take different bits of it. I mean, it really depends. But the initial Venom, when you think of Venom, is just a bad dude. Right. Who wants to kill Peter. Mate, mostly. there's a card. Sorry. Where? Where? Was it? Over there, where that car was. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's, that was the Amazing Fantasy, issue 15. I could tell immediately. Oh my god, was. dude. Yeah, which is the first introduction to uh, Spider-Man ever in a comic book. Nice. And it's funny because um, Stan Lee... Oh, we'll watch this first, I'll tell you my little story. There you go. That's a big old sewer. <laughs> nice tongue, dude. You kind of turn. It's like, wait, turn it into something cool. <laughs> there might be cameras on me. Yeah, Stanley, when he proposed the idea of Spider-Man, the boardroom where he went to like pitch it, were like, sorry, a Spider-Man. Right. Yeah. I, you, you hear that when Spider-Man ideas. When you hear it now, it's great. Like, you don't beat it. Now, if someone like, my wife, you freak. oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> like if someone like to were to pitch like to pitch better. something like this, it'd be like, yeah, oh no, there's already Spider-Man. Spider-Man's done that. Yeah, like, everyone would want to have been the yeah. guy who invented Spider-Man. I mean, it's even if you put man at the end of stuff, who would have come up with Eggman? <laughs> <laughs> who the fuck? <laughs> All right, there's lizards because why not? We're in the sewer. <laughs> of course, there's weird okay. lizard things. This is like Obviously. the Amazing Spider-Man. Thank God. Where, um, what's his name? The Amazing oh, Spider-Man. What's his name? Risa fans? Yes. Yes. That's, yeah. yeah. Amazing Spider-Man One was okay. Amazing Spider-Man Two was utter, utter trash. And I'm sorry, Tom, if you love that film. I, or don't, something. I don't. I don't love it, man. I don't it was it. just not good. And they did the thing that kind of made Spider-Man Three the lesser of the trilogy with Tobey Maguire by adding guys. too many enemies. Yeah, yeah. What was that? There was like Electro, there's the other Goblin, and then was, oh, it was, it was just all sorts of shit that they shoehorned in, and it seemed so unnatural. Who's Spider-Man? Uh, he was in. The, oh, he was hinted at at the end of the second one. Because they got cocky, thinking, "Yeah, Amazing Spider-Man 3. Uh, and then they're and then they're like, "No, no, no." <laughs> Open the door. Okay. Tom, we haven't talked about the other Tom in question. Tom Holland. Tom Holland, man. We we watched Spider-Man together. We did. Oh, it was, it was good fun. Almost what did a... you think before we go on? That, what did you think of him in Captain America: Civil War? His first, first introduction. I loved it because I'll tell you for why, Tom. It's because. It was another ensemble film, and I thought they were just going to make Spider-Man like, uh, eh, whatever, we need to put him in because of reasons. But they added, they just, what they did is successfully hinted at Homecoming and yeah. said, this is what you're going to get. And it was it was just a Spidey with quips. The next pipe's using my L1 oh, God. Targeting mode. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I no! I should use my L1 targeting mode. I just mode. dropped, I forgot to press, I press one button, so it's fine. Mate. But, um... Yeah, it was just kind of saying, this is what you're going to get. This is the Spider-Man, the this kind of quirky, quirky nerd. Even when he's in a complete bind, he's like chatting shit and stuff like that. And it was fun. It was just fun. That was what the thing was. It was too serious, Amazing Spider-Man, and it stopped being fun. Yeah, it was it really drab. Like, it, it took away the fact that Spider-Man is is a kid, really. Yeah, he's just like... I should probably swing to the next place. And Andrew Garfield was too beautiful, mom. too pretty. <laughs> he's just a really good-looking dude. And Tom Holland is a good-looking dude, but he's a young, youthful-looking dude. Alright, how do I do this again? Get up there, man, don't you? I guess. I gotta use my L1 targeting mode. Peter, what are you talking about? L1! <laughs> Who's using L1? What's an L1? You know, your L1 <laughs> shoulder button? Damn, I better press the action button. <laughs> oh, God. But yeah, and, well, I've talked about what did you think of Captain America, his cameo? 
What the Mate, fuck? Mate, you did it again. What happened? Um, I what, him in Civil War? <laughs> yeah, I liked him, man, because it was, it was a surprise, the fact that he was like, I don't know, like so happy to just just be yeah. hanging out with like the big boys. And I like how they touched on that at the start of Homecoming. I yeah. won't give it away, but I think it's like a trailer anyway. Like he's filming it almost, like documenting it, like a, like a teenage kid would. Like, oh my fucking god, you see this shit? Like Captain America did some shit, and then um, oh yeah, no, I <laughs> it's like, oh my god, me too. Ah, I see. I think I got to go on these beams. Let me break the immersion a second by using my L1 targeting mode. Oh, we. So I go from one oh, you to see, because it was the only one that was green. Yeah, like I don't the know. Green arrows because of reasons. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, whoa! That, that's yeah, little, see, yeah. Dude. See, this is this made me throw up as a kid, but it's fine. Whoa! <laughs> and we're good. And I guess nice. they're green now. I don't know why they they turned green, but I guess because it means they're. So because game, game design, design yeah, exactly. There you go. Would you say Spider-Man is your favourite superhero? Absolutely, a million billion percent. Because it was just everything for me as a kid. It kind of made me. I would be nothing without Spider-Man. <laughs> as a like a as someone who grew to learn about being good and knowing that you can fuck up, <laughs> basically. Yeah, man. No, that's a, Inherently, that's, a good that's point. what that's what Spider-Man teaches you. Is that like Spider-Man is not a perfect superhero, and that's what makes him so perfect for me. <laughs> Yeah, he makes mistakes. Relatable. And, yeah, he's and Stanley is just the king of making relatable characters. Because even Iron Man, while he is rich and has all the money in the world, he's he's flawed. He's very heavily flawed, in fact. Yeah, by like um, kind of just like what money does. To yeah, it. and yeah. just like it, having an Power. ego can be great to an extent, but you learn things all the time, and they all have character flaws. Superman was too perfect, and Stanley saw that there was something that needed exploring in comics. And not only that, it helped me learn big ass fucking words. <laughs> yeah. He didn't care. Yeah, he, would, he would put in like things that were like way above my reading age as a kid. But I'd be encouraged to. I'd be like, Dad, what does this mean? What does ginormous yeah, mean? I got that, man. Like I used that. to read a lot of like kind of the comments I used to read were like um, Tintin and Asterix, that kind of stuff. Yes, yeah. Oh, I, totally. I love that. And that they were kind great. Of, that's what I would read yeah. like, before I went to bed. They're just oh. nice. They were nice, nice things to read. You learn. You just learn stuff. All right, I got to stay on the subway, Tom. Stay on the subway. Why don't you take a seat, man? I would, but there's Lizzies. Get them, little Lizzies. Oh God, lizard! Oh, get them. Oh get fudge, good, dude! Oh, they're ganging up on you, man. They're this being really. Cool. The thing is, they can knock me off this train. This it is doesn't matter impossible, what, man. Doesn't matter what. <laughs> The most convoluted story ever. <laughs> Do you believe, like, have you ever seen all of <laughs> Mission Impossible and just gone, wait, so this I was because... I don't think I've ever actually seen the first one all the way through. I've seen the I end, don't think I have either. I don't think I have either. It's all over the place. But then there's really... They got really fun in the end. Yeah, they actually Mission made it into a Mission bloody Impossible franchise somehow. Somehow. Mission Impossible 3 was a bit of a mess, but had a great baddie in Philip Seymour Hoffman. Oh my god, yeah. They had, uh, and then they had Ghost Protocol, which was a bit of fun. It was Brad Bird, I think, that did Ghost Protocol. Yes, yes it was. And it was just a lot of fun. Even the, um, oh, what's it called? The last one that came out. The one after Ghost Protocol. Um, I'm not sure, but I like that one too. Yeah, it, it's it was just like, like a film, like, my dad loves a good, fun action film, so sometimes we'll pick one up or, like, see yeah. what's Have on you heard, Netflix. I think Tom Cruise um, has injured himself. Oh, I just saw a pro skater too. <laughs> I know, <laughs> yeah, they throw him in. They made, I think they made it as well. And then well. Yeah, they did. Um, pro, uh, sorry, uh, Tom Cruise like injured himself recently because he does all his own stuff. Yeah, he does. He's he's he a cool dude. Although he's, he's into some weird Scientology stuff, but that's his. Opinion. Yeah, that's that's his thing. <laughs> Where they that. eat the. Oh, okay, I'm not gonna mention that. <laughs> that was <laughs> okay. a bad thing to mention. Yeah. He does all of his own stunts, he injured himself. Yeah, and like. Filming um, a film, new one? Filming Mission Impossible 6, I think it was. Oh, Maybe nice. wrong. But. I mean, what do you, I think that's why he's only ever in films that he makes, because, like, they don't want to. They can't no. afford the insurance. Jesus man. Christ. <laughs> oh no, and he fell off the train then, that would have been. I mean, I get it, like. He can do his own stunts and whatever, but, like. Come with. On. No! Oh, mate, you're getting, like, pushed around. I know. Oh, oh no. for God's sake! I was trying to do <laughs> the dome thing. You're dead. Oh, don't rub it in, Venom. Yeah, All right. Venomous. Fuck. I'll do this, Tom, next time on Tom and Levi, and we can talk about cool, Mission dude. Impossible. Yeah. Some more. Yeah, I'd love to. Do it. Do it.